Discovered in 1801 by Giuseppe Piazza, Ceres is a massive asteroid which inhabits the asteroid belt between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. It contains a third of the mass of the entire belt and is around the size of the great state of California. Its own gravity is so strong that it forces it into a spherical shape and has earned itself the title of Dwarf Planet, the only object in the asteroid belt which qualifies for the designation. Found in the constellation Hercules, planet Tress 4 is around 70% larger in diameter than Jupiter, but is only 80% of Jupiter's mass. Because of how closely it orbits its sun, it is thought that the intense heat expands the gases which make up the planet, resulting in a marshmallow-like density. Despite this, Tress 4 holds the title of the second largest planet ever discovered. Observations of an exoplanet called WASP-17b suggest that it is even bigger than Tress 4. Despite having a radius double that of Jupiter's, it has only half the mass, making it fluffier than Tress 4. UY Scuti is the biggest star ever discovered. Its nearest rival is more than 1,650 times the radius of the Sun, but UY Scuti measures in at 1,708 times the radius of the Sun. To put that into some perspective, if you imagine the Earth as being the size of a basketball, UY Scuti would be around 125,000 feet tall, the same height as Felix Baumgartner's freefall from the edge of space. A supergalaxy is one which has merged with so many others that they sit slap bang in the middle of galaxy clusters. The largest of these supergalaxies is the IC1101. It is 6 million light years across compared to the Milky Way, which is a mere 100,000 light years. Makes you feel kind of tiny, doesn't it? Researchers at the University of Texas using the 30-foot Hobby Eberly telescope, have discovered what they claim to be the largest supermassive black hole ever. Their discovery has a staggering 17 billion solar masses and resides at the center of galaxy NGC 1277. This black hole is so huge that it accounts for 14% of the entire galaxy's mass. Its event horizon is 11 times the diameter of Neptune's orbit around the Sun, that's around 27 billion miles. Galaxies usually exist in clusters, something which you can see evidenced in the Milky Way. The clusters are lightly bound gravitationally and expand along with space and time itself in groups. However, there are areas in the universe where these clusters do not exist and these areas are occupied by voids. The Boötes Void, a specific region of unoccupied space, is an astonishing 250 million light years across, 2,500 Milky Way galaxies placed side by side. The Shapely Supercluster is a collection of galaxies which is more than 400 million light years long, 4,000 times bigger than the Milky Way. The supercluster is so big that the fastest spacecraft ever built by man would take trillions of years to cross it. The Shapely supercluster is the largest gravitationally bound object that science currently knows of, and being gravitationally bound means that as the universe continues to expand, the gravity between the galaxies in this cluster are strong enough to overcome that expansion, keeping them together forever. In the core of a quasar, more than 12 billion light years away, lies the universe's largest water reservoir. This staggeringly huge H2O cloud contains around 140 trillion times the amount of water in the Earth's oceans and is located near a supermassive black hole at the center of the quasar. This supermassive black hole itself is an absurdly large object, more than 20 billion times the size of the Sun and it releases an amount of energy equivalent to that produced by 1,000 trillion suns. Discovered in January 2013, the huge large quasar group is thought to be among the largest structure in the universe. The huge LQG is a collection of 73 confirmed young energetic galaxies known as quasars. Astronomers have discovered that the group of gravitationally bound quasars is so large that it would take over 4 billion years to cross from one side to the other, even traveling at light speed. The huge large quasar group is so big that its very existence throws Einstein's cosmological principle into doubt. This principle says that when looking at the universe at a large enough scale, it should look exactly the same regardless of where you are observing from or where you look. 
investigations continue in earnest into one of the most fascinating scientific discoveries of modern times. The Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall is a huge group of galaxies which form a giant sheet-like pattern. It is about 10 billion light years long, 7 billion light years wide, and nearly 1 billion light years thick. That is compared to the huge large quasar group, which is only around 4 billion light years long. It was discovered in November 2013 by a team mapping gamma ray bursts, which are the most powerful explosions in the known universe. These gamma ray bursts are incredibly rare. Only one happens in a typical galaxy every few million years, meaning that the explosions can be used to track down a galaxy in that direction. In the map these bursts were produced, scientists noticed something interesting. 14 gamma ray bursts had very similar redshifts and were incredibly close to each other. This meant that there must be a very large group of galaxies and matter in the region, leading to the discovery of the largest thing in the known universe, the staggering Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall.